Hey, let's, Javier. Let's rob a homestead. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. All the doors in the window. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. Oh. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. Dick is a dad, Nick. He is. Um... He was saying the baby's been keeping him up all hours of the day and night because he just cries. <laughs> Funny enough, I was playing Apex with him the other day. We've been uh, we've been playing ranked. We have. Like I love Apex, man, but fuck me, some of the lobbies are like unbelievably sweaty, just getting third partied all over the place and all, man. Oh, is this like fast travel this thing? I can't remember a lot of this game. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Okay then. Okay, we're pretty close now. But Let's look at this light in. From here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Alright, have we got have we got all our weaponry? Dude, a fucking tomahawk, you know. We'll take that. Dude, I'm excited to see what the Doc's new game is like. I really am. Because he's got a couple of big, big heavy hitters fucking working on that, hasn't he? And if it's like Tarkov, but... Less in depth, I'll be happy. Because a lot of like the um, the key oh, bind is an awful talk of big place, right? Just, just confused the fuck out of me. I'm not gonna lie. But it played well, you know. Oh, have we got binoculars? We have. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. Large house. Oh, God. This could be in any one of them. I hope there's not too many. I how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. Oh, no. When someone says they've got an idea, it's normally a bad idea. I'm not going to lie. How's Rich and the kids are neck? Are they doing right, dude? All these trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. <laughs> yeah, same as on Twitter. He's lost his verification and stuff. I reckon he's moving to YouTube. I reckon it's like a big rebranding thing. I reckon he's moving to YouTube. He's gonna come back with like fucking red hair or some shit. Do you know what I mean? Something daft like that, right? But people have been saying there's loads of like tw the big Twitch partners just leaving Twitch. Ah, oh, that's all right then, dude. That's the main thing, buddy. I don't really want to kill anyone because we're just here to rob them. Oh, there's a few of them. Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone for ten minutes. I was. Oh wow, they really are fucking inbred hillbillies or something. Oh, you get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt. I will. Your niece will pull it out, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go. You 
you understand what they're saying? Not much of it. Oh, dude, I know, right? What are we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll he, uh... A distraction, and then you jump him, okay? What kind of distraction? He, he, uh... He loves his money, doesn't he? Like, I've never really watched him anyway. Like, he, he comes across as a bit of a bell end. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. It's like, why won't you climb? No. There's a guy, like, right there. Right, he's going inside. Dude, he set the fucking place alight. Shrunken heck. What the what? hickory happened here? What even are these people saying? What the hickory? We got to put this out, don't you? Oh. Hey. I... Ah, hickory. Now, Arthur. Let's take him out quick. Catch us. I got no dead eye. Get this out. That's it, Javier. Uh, I tried shooting the thing. There. That. Where the hell are they? Ooh. There we go. Chew on this. I'm not too sure. I know. I know they've like done a deity on him since. Uh, Twitch got rid of him. Like, he was like a, a big cord partner and... Oh, dude, right through the cheek. He was like a cord partner and all, now they just... They basically, like, blacklisted him and whatnot. Um, it's really weird. I've seen that COD is coming to Game Pass. It, it was like confirmed. It's still coming to PlayStation, but it's going to be on Game Pass now as well, which is, which is nice. I hope it's on Game Pass for PC though. Right I'm, lo I'm looting the rest of the houses, Javier. Calm down, mate. Can't take the smokes. I love the missions in this game, man. It's so fucking good. Ooh, I haven't seen that. Ooh, I'll have to have a look. Dude, like I said, I played Vanguard the other day for like an hour, and I was like, I, I can't even, you know? I was playing like the, uh, the shipment playlist. And I enjoyed shipment, man. I'm not gonna lie, I really did, but the spawns are even more wonky on Vanguard than what they were on Modern Warfare. Which is a oh hair tonic. Let's grow that let's grow that fucking hair of ours. Let's get a glorious looking mullet. <laughs> I am excited to see how good the docs game is though. And it's going to be free to play as well. So if it is dog shit, it hasn't cost you any money. So that's nice. It just means they'll probably be selling skins everywhere and and whatnot. I can't see there'd be any like game changing stuff in it. 
because people would just call him like the biggest hypocrite known to man, right? Dude, I hadn't until last, not last week, say two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I just wanted to shoot something and I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll, I'll just load a Vanguard. You know? And God, I'm sorry I did. <laughs> I really am. Um, weren't happy. What's this? Push. <coughs> oh. Look what Ooh. we have here. Okay. Oh, proper money. Big I told money. You it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah. You take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. That I'll tell you good. what I have played a lot of um Nick is Alien Fire Team. <coughs> That's very fun. Very fun co-op multiplayer game. A handlebar moustache? I think we could, you know? We're already, like, nearly there at the start. We uh, kind of shaved our chin. But I think we can get the handlebar on the go, you know? We'll get it all big and bushy, and then fucking, we'll be looking sharp. I've played Multiverse's Nick, and I think it's really good. I think it's really good. Uh, me and the boy are going to play it tomorrow. Because he's got it downloaded. So we're going to give that a stab tomorrow at some point. Okay, fella. I, like, I've done the tutorial and I've had a couple of online games. And it's been it's been fun. Uh, I do now and again. I started playing Kenner on it. But I'll be honest, I don't like that controller, you know? The Gunslinger custom outfit. Where's our, where's our winter clothes gone? <laughs> Okay, I guess we're just going back to Dutch now, then, are we? Dude, Dutch is all the way down here. No wonder it fast traveled us. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. The triggers on it just feel really spongy and, and whatnot. And I'm like, oh. And that Kenner, man. You were pressing the button to do an attack. And it was like, no, no. And then all of a sudden, it'll do an attack. And it's like, fuck this. But I haven't played it in a while. I have got the Alan Wake remaster to play on it. Because I loved Alan Wake when I came out, so I had to get the remaster, right? I haven't even bothered with PS Plus or nothing anymore, man. You know? I got Game Pass because the because the game's on there. Yeah, the, the poor old PS5 doesn't get much use at all. We might have a look at it now when God of War comes out. What's this guy doing? Just my luck. Well, I... Oh, fuck! God damn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, Nick, I bought a new controller, and that one is starting to do the same thing. Like, the, the right trigger's starting to go funny on it. So, I'm not, not getting another one. When that finally dies... I'll, I'll probably never touch the, the PS5 again, to be honest. Come on, pal. Like the first one, the spring fell off, and it was it was proper fucked, right? The, the, the R2 button. But this one's like gone in a different kind of way. Like it just doesn't feel like crisp when you touch it anymore. It's like it's just not worth it, you know. And then they had the cheek then to announce this new like. Uh, elite controller. Like, can you imagine giving like 200 quid for this elite controller and it start falling apart like the others? Dude, you'd be fucking livid. Like, Wolf, he's got a scuff controller and that started to play up on him. Oh, you had one go funny as well, didn't you, dude? Oh, shit. Oh, mate, I've said a few times to the Mrs. Wolf, I said, right, when I start playing Red Dead, I'm going to shave a handlebar moustache in, right? And she basically said, if I did, Wolf, she'd disown me. 
She would be like, oh, no, no, no. I reckon I'd look fantastic. Are you getting the Last of Us remake, Nick? Or remaster? Or whatever the hell it is? Oh, that's right. The thumbsticks on your started wearing off, didn't they, Wolf? They're not too bad, though. They're like an easy, easy swap over, right? I those those PS5 controllers. I didn't have stick drift like Nick did. It's just R2 keeps packing in. It's like oh, I'm not I'm not buying another controller again. In how long have they been out? Coming up two years now. Oh fucking train. Why would they stop like that? Dude, I haven't had any problems with my Switch controllers. But I'll tell you what, if you want a really good controller, Nick, get yourself the um, the Switch Pro controller. Oh, man, fuck, it's good. It feels solid as well, right? At the minute, I'm using a Series X controller, which is basically the same controller they've always had since, like, the... Xbox One, probably. Like it's a little bit different to the 360 controller, but but this feels solid. When I first got it, though, I'm not gonna lie, the Series X controller felt a lot cheaper than the One X or the Series or the One S, whatever the regular ones. But like the more I've I've held on to it and got used to it, it um, my opinion has changed. I've been I've been watching some playthroughs of Last of Us, um, and I can't really tell much of what's changed. Of course, it looks a, a little bit prettier, but because not like did, seventy quid pretty. Never you know, so insulted in all my life, really. Loud Dude, death. yes, Boulder don't dash. get a switch light. Are you quite certain you're not a Because this is the regular switch. You can just sit there and play it on Those the TV, wretches right? Those will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. And I've tried playing the regular switch handheld, handheld and it just kills my hand. I am the only college in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> you're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they I love real. dinosaurs. Nigum poop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. It is right, Felicia. Like I've got totalis. I've got massive hands, Just but they're bigger now. than average. <laughs> um I you know I'm trying to I was playing Metroid evidence. Dread in bed a few times. Arthur. I just sat in bed, I have to tell you, I'm playing some Metroid, here, and after like an hour or so, I was like, my, my hands are fucking Listen. killing me. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or I think the Wii U controller was more comfortable to hold. For your efforts. I think. From what sure. I remember. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. We're talking about the Switch. We need but to finish Paper you, Mario. And we need to play through Bayonetta 1 and 2 before Bayonetta 3 comes out. Now, I've got Bayonetta 1 and 2 on the Wii U. But my Wii U controller has passed away, so we're going to pick them up on the Switch. I think it's like 50 quid for the pair of them on the store. We did try playing through Bayonetta 1 on PC, but something funky happened to my save, and I was going to replay the whole game again. So I think we, if we play it on Switch, I think it's going to be more reliable, because you know what PC is like for trying to play old games on? It's not the best. 
Yes, dude, yep. that's why I don't buy digital stuff. And because of what has happened with um, Ubisoft on the Steam store, they've pulled one of the Assassin's Creed games. Even I think even if you bought it, well, you may have you may still be able to download it, so I'm not 100 percent sure. And it's like, dude, like if they're doing it on Steam, because Steam's like the biggest like digital retailer on the planet, right? If they're getting away with that on Steam, PlayStation and the Microsoft Store, they, they don't stand a chance, you know? Oh, Felicia, some of those boss fights in Paper Mario, oh, it fucking boils my piss. It really does. But I like, like, the cuteness and everything of, like, the open world. Whoa. Hey, stop right where you are. Um. I've stopped. Oh, I sent him, sent him toppling. Oh, fuck those guys. Oh, that was, that was thief. That was Felicia. Like, what the hell? Like, you had to unlock this massive like vault, and then you put the code in. It was like, no, nah, mate, sorry, that don't work. And it's like it's literally written there that I have to put this in. I'll be honest, that's one of the main reasons I got a Series X was just for the old games that you can just put in and they'll work. Because, like, a lot of the older games I've tried to play on PC have played a bit funky, right? Um, we Oh, we can open the chest. So that was the main, main reason I got a Series X, man. Just so we can... Uh, Play some older stuff and not have to worry about how it runs or the resolution being shit. Like, you can't change the resolution and whatnot. Ooh, Horse Reviver. Right, okay. Let's go, see Biscuit. But we do need to do Bayonetta 1 and 2 before Bayonetta 3 comes out. I'm pretty sure we got over halfway through Bayonetta 1 on PC. So I may go straight to Bayonetta 2. And if we're still enjoying the Bayonetta and us, we'll come back and play the, the rest of Bayonetta 1. Like, I'll play it off stream up to where I got to on the PC. And we'll, uh, we'll continue from there. So I'll be honest, man, I've never had a Switch game, like, go flaky on me at all. They, they've always, they've always functioned, you know? Apart from No More Heroes 3, I do want to play that on stream. But in certain places it runs at, like, 20 FPS and it's horrendous. But it looks a really fun game. That's the one, Felicia. She's like a, a witch or some shit. It's like a super horny version of Devil May Cry. Dude, I haven't played Stray yet. I really want to play it, though. I uh, I think I've watched Pip play a good chunk of it, but I didn't want to watch too much because I want to play it myself. And, dude, I reckon that game's going to be awesome when I play it. Uh, the missus has started playing a bit of it, but she hasn't played too much lately. But I really want I really want to give Stray a go. That might be a that might be a weekend game it's where you can blast through it in a couple of days, right? Or in like a tidy enough like a, a long session, you know? My god, park the horse. 